We are at the Royal Malta Yacht Club with uh, David Cremona, the Commodore. Yes. How important is the Rolex Middle Sea Race for your club? The Rolex Middle Sea Race is our main uh, international event. It's not just important for the club, but for the uh, actually for the nation. I mean, it's a very widely followed event. You can imagine all boats coming from all different parts of the world. We have very good media coverage which obviously gets distributed all over. We have actually thousands, uh, figures show that we have thousands, you know, following the race. Uh, for us, it's our pride and joy. We've been doing it for, we're now 44th year now. Obviously, we've been uh, closely associated with, with Rolex for over 20 years. Uh, when initially it started, the Rolex with the series was a, a few number of boats. Yeah. And there was a time where it had stopped because of the situation. Eventually, the Rolex came in. And slowly, slowly, you know, from 30, 60, 100, numbers started climbing. So for us, yes, it's a, an organized race. Uh, you have to consider that the club uh, runs mainly on volunteers. So all the race organization, you know, all the logistics, it's all done basically on the, much on a volunteer basis. Obviously, we do sub, subcontract outsiders, but it's a big event for us. This year you will have uh, more or less 100 boats yeah. from a lot of countries, no? Yes, about 24 countries, you know, uh, big contingents from obviously from Italy, uh -huh. sizable uh, contingents. 22 from, from Italy, uh, yeah. yeah. Large number, you know, uh -huh. from the UK, uh, France, then all over. Okay, and uh, there is not a uh, clear favorite uh, this year, it uh, looks like, no? It's, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you have big boats. Uh, I take uh, medium range boats. Uh, yeah, yeah, how do you I see that? Even the weather pattern so far, I think it's going to make probably favor as an overall winner would be the medium sized boats. Mm -hmm. I think the conditions are, I would say, more favorable for them you know, so yeah. far. But then you never know, you know. The, uh, the course, obviously, being as it is, offers a lot of di uh, different weather patterns. Yeah. You know, when you have a, a landmass like uh, Etna, that creates you know, a lot of different things. So, no matter the forecast, it's still very hard to kind of say who is a favorite and not, let's be honest. Okay, and uh, all the world knows this race as one of the most wonderful races in the world for the course, for yeah. the race course, yes, uh, yes. Messina Strait, uh, Stromboli, Etna, Pantelleria, Lampedusa and come back to Malta. Exactly. So it's a uh, challenge every year, no? Different challenge. It is a different challenge every year, and as you just mentioned, the, the course goes around Sicily, like, and, and you know, down south and, and back up again. Uh, it's not like where you have certain races which are pretty much like a straight line to a marker and back. So going around, you know, the different parts offers different, obviously, challenges and different weather conditions. I mean, sometimes we've had some very bad conditions, you know, at times it's been light. I mean, obviously, we always uh, want someone to try and break the course record, but this year I think it's unlike, uh, given the weather. Yes, passes. but every year you have magnificent sights, uh, views, panoramas yes, yes, of yes, Stromboli, yes. islands, uh, straight yes, passage. Yes, 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 yes. So it's a very uh, scenic uh, course. Obviously, as you mentioned, Stromboli, you know, the landmass of uh, Etna, well, it's, it's different. Okay. Plus, obviously, then in the water itself, you know, you have the different ridges, different depths, which cause, you know, a squall sometimes, you know. So one has to be careful about these things. Really. You have the currents, the straits of Messina. It's, it's a challenge, practically, at, at every point, I would say. And, and you, in the past years, you come back to the start from the Grand Harbour, that is a magnificent size, not in Massachusetts uh, Harbour. And uh, so, for Malta, for the country, is a well-known and a followed event, no? Yes, a very followed event. I mean, uh, as I said before, given the number of countries that participate, and given the investment that we actually uh, put out in the media and the distribution of the filming at church. Professional people engaged, you know, especially for the start, we have the professional people going around the court. So yes, it's very, uh, very followed, obviously, and we're proud of it. Okay, we will see who is winning this year. Okay, thank you, David. Thank you very much. Okay.